the laser optical demonstrator, it's a precise way for students to investigate different optical properties. You can investigate geometric optics, diffraction, polarization, and interference. With such high precision, you can not only use it as a demonstration tool, but you can also get highly accurate quantitative measurements. The apparatus comes with high quality glass and over 29 different components that fit into a recessed hole that a magnet holds in place and that you can easily adjust. As with any experiment that uses a laser, please make sure that you use precautions and make sure students know that they have to have proper eye protection if needed. The included manual also has over 30 different activities with background information and ray diagrams. The protractor can be rotated so you can adjust the angle that the light ray is hitting your optical component with. There are five partially silvered mirrors that are all independently adjustable, but they each provide equal intensity laser beams. So if I want to adjust simply one beam, there are knobs in the back which you can adjust them by, or you can simply bend them out of the way completely if you do not want to use them in your experiment. Not only can you adjust the light rays up and down, but you can also adjust the angle to the protractor. When you're done, always cover up the laser and shut the unit off. If you remove the optical component over the lens, you will now get a single dot laser beam. I moved the other four mirrors out of the way so I only have one dot. On the end, you can mount different optical components and you can slide them to the left or the right with high precision so you can have the laser focused on a single slit or a double slit. One of the main advantages of having each light ray being able to be adjusted independently is that you can set up a ray diagram. No other optical set out there allows you to do this setup. In this setup we have the object being represented as these two crossed lines. When they go through the lens, this represents the real image. If you substitute out the lens for an object with a larger focal length, so now the object is in front of the focal length, you can represent a virtual image since you have diverging light rays. The apparatus comes with three pre-made panels. Two of them are telescopes and one of them is a microscope. The one I have up here now is representing the lenses of a microscope. The three incoming light rays represent an object that you're looking at. And these three light rays represent that same object showing how enlarged the image is and how a microscope can be used to take a small object and make it appear larger. The laser optical demonstration apparatus is more than just demonstrations. It is a qualitative and quantitative tool to help your students learn about optics in the classroom. Its high quality components and compact design make it an easy addition and very easy to store. Unlike other demonstration tools, you can actually create real ray optics showing both real and virtual images. Diffraction experiments can display circular diffraction as well as traditional diffraction and also Fresnel and Fraunhofer diffraction. Overall, there are more than 20 different activities for every level of your optics class that you need, whether it's high school or advanced college.